G'day guys, welcome to J-Man Speaks. Today we're taking a look at a video called Why Men Are Not Committing in Modern Dating. This is by FBE Capital, original video, link in the description. Let's go. That I could have a conversation with him, that he could be here with me, that he could have chosen me. Trying to get a guy to commit or trying to see where things go, I indulged in hookup culture. Why am I not good enough to date? If you wanna hook up with me, why do you not wanna date me? And then it's like, is it my personality? Am I that? Yes, it is. Like, I can tell you as a guy who serial dated many women over the years, it is your personality. It's not just about looks. It's not just about how you perform in the bedroom. Once, once, once all that bedroom fun stuff's done, we've got now initial sugar hit. We're trying to work out if you're a good sort of option or not. It comes out of your personality. Are you fun to be around? Do I want to be around you when I don't have a boner? That's really it. Obviously, the answer is no <laughs> for this one unsufferable when i tell people that i've never officially been on a date with someone they don't believe me but to me a date is like actually yeah. going to a nice restaurant that someone's planned and i've yeah. never had that <laughs> clearly i'm not doing something right <laughs> if you do not want to be with her just tell when i was little i really didn't think it was going to be this hard to find someone it's literally just so confusing and so stressful and no one seems to really know what they actually want when like i don't know i don't know how to fix this i just want a family i had to come to terms with knowing that i'm not a woman that men commit to or love no, 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 no. So, so she's wrong there. Look, she's, she looks she looks nice. And now she's probably getting a bit old now. She's probably about my age, probably approaching 40, maybe 35, with the short haircut and everything like that. It's always interesting. I always find why you know, women get to like 35 and decide to cut all their hair off. It makes no sense. You just age yourself 10 or 15 years. Stupid. But I've come across heaps of women like this. They could have... Just about any guy they want to go out with still. There are plenty of guys out there. Not everyone watches these channels, guys. Not everyone educates themselves on what is going on out there. There are so many guys out there with their eyes closed that would get with a girl like this and think that they've won the lotto. These girls don't want those guys. They don't want the normal guy. They want the guy who has all the options, who's an absolute dirty scumbag. I've been that guy, exploited it, had a great time doing it. Don't feel bad about it because they want the guy who doesn't want them. They friend zone themselves or booty call, or, you know, if friends who benefits themselves. The guy will be telling them. I used to tell women all the time, I am not interested in anything more than this. They hear you, but they do not listen. They hear what they want to hear, but maybe they might have a chance. It's interesting. But some do learn because I have been the guy, I bet if, if, if you guys seen that movie, Good Luck Chuck, I have been that guy that all of a sudden they had an experience with me. They might not have been too happy about how it ended. They didn't get what they want out of me. And then they've gone and settled with some other guy and had a family or something. And, you know, they contact you a year later or you see them on Instagram or Facebook or whatever it is. They've got a fucking baby and shit like a year later. So I've gone, nah, no more dickheads like G-Man. I'm going to go and get a normal guy. A normal guy who is somewhat dependable and doesn't know what I'm up to by trying to lock him down and baby trap him at 35. Oh, they want, but I've never had any big romantic gestures. So it happened again. I had a date cancel on me and I got stood up. And I have been stood up. <laughs> I know I deserve better, but he was that person for me. <laughs> so obviously these women that you just saw can easily get 100 plus dates in a single week, yep. either through dating apps or in real life. However, what they can seem to get is for any of these guys to stick around. This fucking chewed Missy. I've had her on a few of my videos. She's an Aussie bird. I think she's from Brisbane. And she, um, I think now, I think I looked her up um, on TikTok. She has a, a partner now. Uh, she has a baby or something. So plenty of monster hunters out there who will take these chicks on. This is perfect example um, of that. This girl, um, I made videos that she's complaining and carrying on. She can't get a bloke and all this sort of thing. Once she dropped her standard just a little bit, some guy came along. Happy is Larry. Well, he doesn't know what he's getting, that he's getting a sluzzer. But at the end of the day, sucker born every minute. Round or to show some genuine interest for more than 45 minutes. And that is what's driving them crazy. Stop 
fucking ghosting. You never hear, oh, I want you in my future. Instead, you hear, oh, I want you on top of me in bed. <laughs> it's so fucked up. And I'm tired of being single. What the hell was that? You know, Jesus. Well, that was a chewed minty, a bit of a, a bit too much um, plastic surgery gone wrong there. Yeah, I know, see, guys, it's just facts. Have a look at it. Like, let's go back. One more look at that head. But it is so fucked up. And look at that. Look at that. Like you guys, are, oh, you're all about that. I can't stand that. Look, I don't know why girls do that to themselves. Gee, man, don't um, don't body shame and don't don't make comments about their looks. It's not their looks. They've done this to themselves. This is uh, they've butchered what they naturally look like. I'm tired of being single. And I'm not capable to find someone who is uh, able to get in interested in me, in myself, for a long time. I don't know, it's all new about superficiality, uh, relationships. Things have gotten so bad in modern dating. Um, honestly, if he just eats the butt, you know. That some of these oh. women are now trying to come up with ways. Goes in for the rim job. I know you boys out there love, um, love going in for the rim. Is to force men into committing to them. Like a month after we first met, our first date was October 18th. Um, we drafted up relationship terms and conditions. Now I will admit this is absolutely psychotic to write up two weeks after meeting somebody on Tinder, but if we require commitment before sex, we would have more relationships. We must have. No, 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 you wouldn't. You wouldn't. You wouldn't. That's the thing. Um, uh, guys, like, I used to lie about it, so I would know exactly what they were doing. I would switch on to it instantly. I would make them feel like they're maybe going to get a commitment. I would tell them exactly what they wanted to hear. These kind of girls, they're not for commitments. They're the ones who've been on the dating apps for 10 years, 15 years. They've been um, had all the chances in the world to have a guy. That's the way that I viewed it. So I was just, just going to be another notch. Guys, women like that, I have no issue lying to them. I have no issue selling them a dream. It's doing what I have to do and saying what I have to say to get some action. That was my motto back in the day. I just didn't care. I have an issue when it's a good girl and a nice girl and you're doing the wrong thing by her and she's not aware of the kind of guy you might be. But you got these girls out there, they should be smarter than that, right? They've been on dating apps for 10 years or whatever. You know, you guys, you guys know the ones I'm talking about. Yeah. You go on a dating app. Uh, you might get a girlfriend or whatever. You get off for two, three years, whatever it is, five years. You go back on after you break up or things don't work out with the other person. They're still there. Same profile pictures a lot of the time, the same chicks. So you can just imagine how many dudes they've banged in that in that time. And they're still looking um, for Mr. Right and they want to have a baby and a family and they're 39 years old and a dating app. Makes no sense. Plans on two weekend nights per month and one weekend day. If we go out together, we go home together. Once every four months, you must send me flowers. The irony here is that these are all old school ways of dating. It was called courting and marriage that were deemed to be too restrictive and too sexist for modern women. And don't even get me started on this new bull called dating deposit. She agreed to reschedule on one caveat. He would Venmo her a $50 what? deposit. <laughs> Now in all honesty, I don't know exactly how prevalent this is since I've only seen it pop up here and there, but if you're engaging in this shit, you need to stop right now. The women talk about not wanting to be treated like objects all the time, and then they come up with shit like this. Duke said she's sent around six Venmo requests ranging from $1,500 to $3,000. Okay, then just agree that's your merchandise. Which is exactly what a car company does for its cars. Not to mention that plenty of women will flake on guys as well, so yeah. then what? Are we both going to pay a deposit on the other person? Because this That's ridiculous, and if any guy does, I've never heard of such a thing. But I think there probably would be guys out there who would be saying, I'm the guy for you, I'm going to show you that I'm a real man, so I'm going to put that 1500 bucks down as a deposit to take you on a date. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know what's going on. Is there too much soy in our food? I don't know why guys would do that. That is laughable. 1500 bucks. I wouldn't put down a dollar fifty for anybody. It's ridiculous. What world are we living in, guys? Have you guys ever heard of that? Put in the comments. Have you ever heard of dating deposit? I've never heard of that. Sounds like something in America. The Seppos. That's what the Seppos do. Completely cancels out the deposit. Unless you want to uphold some sort of sexist double standard where only the men has to pay the deposit and women are free to not show. Just like pay for the date, plan the date, ask her out, text her first, 
But look, what's wrong with men paying? I mean, it's a first date, they've asked you on a date, they should be honoured to have you there. Men honoured. always pay on my first date. So. I would not go on a date with a guy and split. All right, maybe this sounds a little ridiculous. Good on ya. Ugh. Yeah, you get these chicks like that one there. She was a sub too, and she was dressed up uh, to the nines on television, right? Telling it she's not going to go out with a guy unless uh, if he wants to split the bill. What? Why do guys have issues splitting the bill? I'll tell you what, my personally why, and you guys, you can put it in the comments too if you want and share it with other dudes. My personal reason why I'll split the bill is all women are serial dating. Do you think they're on the dating app waiting just for you to come along? They're just talking to you. You know, women are the masters of juggling and running rotations. They have heaps of guys on the go. They might not be banging them all, but they're most definitely going out with a lot of them, juggling up and weighing up what they can extract from guys. It's the reality of, I've been told this to my face by many women once I realize I'm a bit of a Brycey and I'm not going to be the guy who pays for anything. So they'll just tell me. And I would laugh about it. I would used to say to them, uh, they go, oh, I'm going on a date with... Joe Bloggs or whatever his name was. And that's a joke I would say, yeah, what do you get me a, a takeaway pasta on the way out and give it to me on, uh, when I come over later? And they actually would do it. It's happened before. And we would laugh about it. So that's why. That's why I wouldn't... Sorry, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to stop myself. That's why you don't pay, guys. That's why you don't pay straight up until you sort of get a good feeling about whether she's worth it or not because I'm telling you now, they're out there doing that. As bleak and as negative and cynical as I sound, I can tell you now that is what happens on dating apps. But like, if I'm giving you my time, right. I mean, maybe you should pay for my dinner. So I guess women have no problem at all upholding a double standard just as long as it benefits them. Okay, and what about a second date? Does it change then? <laughs> second date is still the man. He should pay. Again, I'd offer, but I'd still want the guy to pay. You gotta love hypocrisy and inconsistency, man. It's fucking everywhere. By the way, if you agree that women want to have their cake and eat it too when it comes to modern dating, then please drop a like on the video and comment down below what you think. Because instead of just slightly tweaking the old system of courting and waiting till marriage, society said fuck it and burned the whole damn thing to the ground, giving birth to hookup culture under the banner of empowering and freeing women. A man has been able to go out and have a one night stand and obviously he's having a one night stand with someone. We do have a high sex drive, definitely. I just have like friends who we just basically have sex. Okay. <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with that because she's honest about it and lots of women do that and I've been the guy who provides a sex so I'll consider it a bit of a community service while you guys are out there dating him thinking that you're getting something special there um, a lot of the time banging dudes on the quiet Sunday afternoon when you're not answering their phone and you wonder where they are you had a great Saturday night out with them you took them out for dinner you dropped 200 250 bucks you want to see if they want to catch up on a Sunday afternoon, maybe for a walk, you know, a light stroll or a chat, maybe have a chat on the phone. They're not answering. They're gone. It's like a black hole for four or five hours. What do you think they're doing? On their back, legs spread with a Bryce or a steve -O. Oh, no, nah, you're just too cynical. Oh, it happens. And you're going out to have your needs met. There should be no shaming and there's nothing wrong with having sex on the first date. So I would always want to sleep with someone first before I like committed to a relationship. However, now that they are free to be just like the guy. Hey, hey, I'm all about that actually. Like I, I've actually gone out with someone long term who I slept with on the first date. He gives a shit. Uh, but what, what, what you need to know is are they still going? Are they still doing it with other guys? Why are they now saying you? Yeah. A lot of them are. If, if you can feel confident that they've dropped it, right? And, they, and that they're... Um, not going to partake in those things anymore. I don't see that. I'm not going to be a priest about it, guys. I've been the biggest scumbag ever. I know what women get up to. They can tell you and lie to you to your face. If you want them to lie to you and tell you that they're an angel and they haven't been doing those things, fine, go and believe it. But they do do it. So as long as they stop doing it, go out with them, fine. But once you get a sniff of it, fuck them off. All right, halfway through it, uh, the show, guys. If you're enjoying my content, please sub to the channel aiming for 10k subscribers so you guys jumping on board um, and being involved uh, is a big help and guys if you want to support me just watch the video shoot to the end like comment engage i have to say all the same shit that all youtubers say because that is what works so if you can do that that will help me out greatly
guys, many women want to go back to getting commitment up front and having guys spend time and money on elaborate dates. I don't even condone drink dates. As a man, societally, he gets paid more and his time that he has more of because he's not doing hair, makeup, and shaving his legs. We are doing dinner. You're gonna pick me up. We're gonna come to the restaurant. We're gonna see your table manners. We're gonna see what you order. We're gonna see if you hold your chopsticks correctly. For a woman, it's hell? really important that he is investing from the get-go. Stop saying yes to these low-value, low-investment dates okay so why exactly would guys want to do this because everywhere you look nowadays you keep hearing how independent women are and that they definitely do not need a man i, I would love to know what do we need y'all for i think women are better than men at what everything so name two things um i think i don't know i just think we're better women don't need men in order to make money to provide for themselves or take care of themselves well that's fine and all but you do realize that that shit actually works both both ways right since men also don't need a woman to provide for them or cook for them since there are hundreds of apps that do exactly that which means that technically both men and women don't need each other in a civilized modern world with modern comforts however the difference is that men don't constantly scream this from the top of their lungs and men also don't go home and then make tiktok videos about how lonely they are after just saying that they don't need men gorgeous gorgeous girls don't cry over a boy in a car Coaches, coaches, girls don't need a boy. I'm so sick of this. Like, I'm so sick <sighs> of not feeling like a priority to you. I need somebody to have yeah. my back. What's that? I do. I'm admitting it. I could say I'm a strong, independent woman that doesn't need no man, but I am saying, I want a man, and I need a man. Now that is what you call some mixed fucking messaging. So currently, you have modern- Too much TikToks, too much social media, women growing up with that stuff, women growing up with the messaging um, that it's good to go out and bang heaps of guys, partake in hookup culture. I've got nothing against it, I've benefited greatly from that. I've got no problem with it. Sluts are great. Love sluts. People go, oh yeah, slut shaming. Nah, sluts are awesome. Uh, they've got vaginas, breasts, awesome. Kept me entertained many a night and afternoon. <laughs> but in all serious. It's just incredible how far things have fallen. And even, look, guys, it, uh, this was still going on three or so years ago when I was on the apps a lot. I'm banned off them, so you guys ask why as well am I not on them. I got banned off them all. Like, I need to get a new phone and shit, and I'm not investing in that um, just to go back on the dating apps. Can't be stuffed with it. But this was pretty bad, pretty prevalent when I was on there. I was copying a lot of attitude and bullshit towards the end too, which also did put me off wanting to go out with girls off on the dating apps. That's why as well. Like it's just becoming way too toxic, way too um, misandrist. I just found it was very, very misandrist. Women wanting courtship and chivalry, but they seem to forget that those two come at a price. Courtship and chivalry existed for a very specific reason, which allowed both parties to benefit from it. Women were getting safety and security of income and access to wealth, while men were able to build a legacy and show their level of success through marriage and children. So clearly both men and women had a vested interest in finding a long-term partner and this created a very strict code of conduct for both men and women. That is no longer the case because even though both men and women have lost some benefits from long-term relationships, it is men who have seen the cost of engaging in long-term relationships rise while losing benefits you know fifth so the, so the costs yeah this guy's gonna go on about um some divorce shit we all know it's bad and i've gone on about it heaps and told you a whole bunch of stuff but the reality is the cost is upfront as well for a lot of guys a lot of dating a lot of treating them special holidays trips making a rod for your own back spending money letting it with your wallet right uh, anniversary presents valentine's birthdays birthday weeks birthday months monthly anniversaries whatever some guys do right a lot of simps out there who'll do dumb shit like that I've heard about it, I've never done it, but I've heard of women say, oh, well, well, what are we gonna do for our second month together? What do you fucking mean? Or our first month together, what? Mental, but guys pander to it, they do it um, because they feel that's what they have to do to get some action, right? Toe the line. Then what do we do? We go commit, we get married, uh, we do stupid things like that, and we end up losing half our stuff or more. Half if you're lucky. Half is a good result. <laughs> more like 60, 70%. You have kids, maybe even more, and ongoing alimony, spells of support, um, child uh, support, I don't know. Is, is one vagina worth all of that? And one vagina that probably doesn't have sex with you anymore? I don't know, guys. I don't think I even need to answer that question.
fifty three percent of marriages end in divorce in new york state so if i said to you there's a fifty three percent chance when you walk out the front door today you're gonna get hit in the head with a bowling ball you would either stay inside or at a minimum you would wear a helmet which is exactly why some men are simply playing the field but not committing, while others have completely checked out. And this brings us to the original question, why are men not committing to women? Or why are men not even showing up to date these women? Well, there are two main reasons for this. The first is simply women selecting men that clearly do not want commitment. Take yeah. this girl for instance. But every single time this happens, I always tell myself like, oh, you'll get over it. Or like, you're over him. <laughs> It'll be fine, right? She's a very attractive woman and she seems to be very nice, a bit crazy perhaps, but still very nice. So attractive with makeup on, let's just put a little asterisk on. I've seen a lot of girls who look absolutely beautiful and you see them with no clothes on, they look like a cabbage patch doll. Sorry, not, not my clothes on. Sometimes with no clothes on, they look like a cabbage patch doll, but no makeup and hair and eyebrows and bullshit. Done, I look like a cabbage patch doll. All right, makeup is absolutely transformative. <laughs> So guys, I really assure you to try and get women who don't like using makeup because you actually see what you're getting. But I'm gonna tell you why I think dating's fucked now, or why men are waking up a lot too. If TikTok didn't exist, if those podcasts didn't exist where women are sitting there talking about banging guys and uh, being open about the bullshit talk they have around relationships and expectations and dumping dudes and banging dudes and all this sort of stuff, I reckon a lot more guys would still be doing it. They, they wouldn't know better. The internet right, has been a... Uh, it's like a camera into the mind of a woman. Like it's a telescope into the mind of a woman. You can see exactly what they're thinking, what they're doing, what they're up to. They don't hide nothing. They got them crying over dates, getting dumped, um, stood up, um, admitting that they're getting pumped and dumped by chads on TikTok without even realizing they're doing it. You got you got um, podcasts of women sitting there talking about guys and banging guys and all sorts of stuff. That's why. You got Instagram. You got Facebook. You got Snapchat. You got guys on dating apps. You got guys who you can womanize who will probably never commit because they know what women are capable of. They've seen it all, right? They've ruined women for themselves, me included. That's why. Then you get the other guys who are not getting any action right, at all. They're not getting a shoe in, right? They're not even getting a seat at the table, let alone a meal at the table. They're not even getting a seat. They're not even getting an invite or being acknowledged. So you have a whole other subset of guys who are angry, jaded, bitter, resentful um, of women in the dating market, especially on dating apps, because they cannot participate like they think they should be entitled to with women of the same uh, comparative status, because they're all chasing the Bryce's and the Steve A's. And getting fucked and chucked, as we like to say. Rooted and booted, bagged and tagged, caught and released. Over and over again with different ones. It's like they're all being shared around by the same guys. It's really sad, but it's really true. And I think that's the reason why guys are waking up. Why do you think channels like mine, why do you think... Like, I'm only small. There, there, there are channels... Um, out there, you know, with three, four hundred, five hundred thousand subs, you've got those fresh and fit dudes who I don't watch and really probably don't relate to their content too much. But they were like a million subs or something like that. That's, it. That's a million guys watching that stuff because they're frustrated or looking for help and advice. A million people. It's incredible. That's subscribers, not people who watch it and don't subscribe. <laughs> All right, look, I think that's going to be it because this one, I'm only about halfway through the actual video itself here. So guys, go check out the full video um, so they get some ad revenue and stuff like that um, and get the credit for me um, leveraging their content as a, as a tool for discussion. So go check them out, give them a like, sub, all that sort of stuff. And guys, if you haven't subbed to me and you like what I get up to and the things I talk about, um, please sub. And if there are videos that you want me to talk about, send them through to my email. It helps me out greatly and enables me to make more content for you guys to enjoy. Thank you very much. If you made it this far, I appreciate it greatly. See you in the next one.